Hey everyone, uh, President Tay Nixon here. I just wanted to show you something really cool that I made in with Redstone. Um, basically, the idea was so that I would have like a furnace array just like this one. It's a typical furnace array. And then basically, I would have like a bamboo farm that would go into this furnace array, and then I could just like put stuff inside. <coughs> just smelt up automatically with automatic fuel um, it's just there's one issue with that so like if you come across here this is the I've actually made bamboo farm here but the issue is is that it comes into here and then uh, this is all these hoppers are locked so we'll just come across here and then once it's detected it it will unlock these and then it will go into the furnaces however there's like a pretty big issue with that and it's that it doesn't actually split evenly like it doesn't go to these hoppers either it just goes to this first furnace and then starts stacking up now I just like tick warped this so there's probably some in here yeah I ticked warp it so it would do it anyway but like in normal vanilla minecraft it doesn't it fills this furnace up and then this one and then this one and then this one and then that one you can't actually just like stack up 15 into this hopper and then just let them go and then have them all it split up individually so you'd get one in every single one like that sounds all right but the but you've got to remember something about um bamboo it's that it's the worst fuel for like furnaces so let me just get some um, bamboo here and I'll also get I was just gonna get some mutton yeah that'll do I'll just put one in to show my point basically I can't just put one bamboo in right because you see it doesn't get cooked so I have to put four and that's four until it fully gets cooked as you can see here so I have to put four into every single furnace so that it actually cooks up because otherwise you're just gonna have like your food in here or whatever you want and it's just gonna like sit there and not actually cook up because there's gonna be one bamboo in there and then it's gonna burn up but it's not actually gonna cook it all the way so that was like the issue that I was facing so basically I couldn't just stack up like 15 bamboo and then let them go I'd have to stack up 15 times 4 which is 60 but something with comparators and whatnot is that if you go any lower than say like um, 69 bamboo then it won't it will actually give you like sorry I don't know how, it's kind of hard to explain this but I'll try and show you basically if I have comparator output and that um, and we'll get a lamp Redstone lamp, yeah, lamp. The issue with um, comparators and whatnot is that it has to be 69 bamboo because basically this disallows you've got to have like damn, exactly 69 bamboo. Except you might be thinking, why can't I just go like 60 in there and then like when it sees 60. I'll show you 60 here then I can really see like this works it works right however it doesn't really see if you take this out I've got 59 in there but there's 60 here because these two values when you convert them into redstone six of strength which is 0 to 15 they actually give the same strength so I can't do this, I have to go the next strength up 
which in this case is 69 bamboo and then but the issue with that is that I have to go 69 again however this is the only signal strength that will give me 60 or more that isn't wasting bamboo here so this is why I had to go with the signal strength of 69 bamboo because if I went lower I wouldn't have enough bamboo for the whole system but if I went higher then I would have way too much I already have nine more than I really need to but like for this system it's fine he, he really cares um, yeah so that's why I chose 69 bamboo so basically I had to make a system so that once I detect that much bamboo I will let all of it go into the system and then repeat up oh. so to actually make this work basically I had to detect all of exactly I don't know yeah 69 bamboo I get a 60 or more and then basically I just had to flush all of it out the issue with trying to flush all of it out is that you might go down one and then that will be flushed out however then it will detect that it's not higher than this value it's smaller than that value so the issue then becomes is that it will then lock up again so you've just got a threshold here so basically I had to create a system where it wouldn't just go reduce one oh and then just stop filling up the system I had to make it so that once it's at this level then it retrains the whole thing and not just like one item um, which is this system really so basically this is like detecting the um, signal strength so it once it gets a 69 bamboo or 60 plus bamboo um, it would then this comparator will then shoot out a signal here uh, well, this is when this system comes in. So this basically detects if there's any items in it, like, at all. Um, so basically this will actually extend. And because there's items in there, by the time that this has extended, um, then we've got this circuit here, which basically uh, makes sure that this is powered so that it can also give power to this line which unlocks this hopper so that basically this will only turn off when there are no items in there so when this comparator isn't detecting anything so basically this is how I just solved the whole issue of where like I've got 69 bamboo right and then it would just like reduce by one so 68 and then it would stop flushing out so then I'd need another bamboo just for it to start flushing out again so this whole system here just prevents that from happening and basically makes it so that when you get 69 bamboo in here it can just go through the whole system all of it so it's like kind of sends as batches and the title of this video would be calling it like a cache so yeah it is kind of like a cache as well so basically I just inserted this right under here right and you've got this so basically now you've got this bamboo farm it can be whatever size or whatever design I'm just using like a bud pairing design um, from someone I forgot <laughs> um, yeah and then basically all the bamboo will come into here and then go through the whole system so once it gets to 69 it'll just get flushed all the way through so that the once it reaches once the first bamboo reaches here all of these hoppers will have bamboo inside it and then it can actually just 
go down and then into the furnace and so as you can see every furnace is filled up now I did tick warp this thing so pretty much every single one here has got 64 but as you can see it's evenly distributed at the back so yeah that works it works yeah I just really wanted to show you that I'll give like a little tutorial on how to make this so basically first thing you gotta do is you can build up like two and then you can go um, build up here so you've got two hoppers here just two up right and then basically you can have a comparator here that's not in subtract mode yeah facing into this one within subtract mode and then another comparator right here and then you're gonna put a block here actually we'll just put the hopper here uh, facing in towards this comparator with the subtract mode you're gonna put 69 bamboo in so that's powered now and then just below this you're going to put a block, two blocks out, put two redstone dust on the side, repeat it there, um, two blocks up there, you know, redstone dust, and then you're going to go place a block here, you can place a repeater there, oh, you also need a redstone torch, let me just get that. So you're going to put a redstone torch right underneath this hopper here and then you're going to take your sticky piston it's going to come out this way with a block on and then you can just have a block next to this piston um, a block down here there redstone dust repeater and then you can have three blocks here all with redstone dust on it that's basically the whole system. So now, once you get 69 bamboo in there, then it starts all flushing down into this hopper. So yeah, that's this item caching system. You can actually change the values in here. You can just fill around with these values just to change them, how many items you need in here for it to actually fully flush out. But in this scenario, I just wanted to make a bamboo fuel design for this super smelter with 15 furnaces. And in this case, uh, these values work perfectly for bamboo. So as you can see, all the bamboo is in there. And if I put more in there, it's still not going to go in there. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see ya.